Hi everyone, this is Kate O'Connor reporting for AbWeb from Arrow 2023 in Friedrichshafen, Germany. Behind me is the Celsius E-Sling. It's an electric aircraft project put together by the students at, the, at ETH Zurich, a university in Switzerland. Let's go take a closer look. Yes, so my name is Misha Bub. I'm a student at ETH Zurich, so that's a university of a technical university in Zurich. And I'm in my master's currently, but I participated in this project during my last year of my bachelor's students uh, studies at, as a mechanical engineer. So our goal was to retrofit a Sling TSI, so South African kit airplane with an electric drivetrain. So we built the batteries, the motor, the inverter, everything that, need, that the airplane needs to move forward. And the base, so the airframe, we could just use. So that made the certi certification a bit easier and we could just focus on the electrification. So until we started flying, it took two years. So I was in the first year of the project and after some other students took over and did the second year. But of course, we from the first year, because we invested so much time, we wanted to stay and just see it fly. So a half a year ago, we got it or we had our maiden flight. And yeah, since then, pretty much all of us are still participating in test flights because yeah, it's, it's we invested so much blood, sweat and tears. We, we want to see it fly. So yeah, I, I know I think my longest week was I think like 72, 72 hours or something. So that was just one week, but yeah, it was always like till 12 in the night and after it's a morning again at eight o'clock up. So it was a strenuous year, but I mean, it, it was worth it, yeah. I think we have around uh, 30 to 40 flights and I would estimate around 25 hours of airtime, yeah. The whole goal is that we as students learn how to develop technology. So on a personal level, I learned tons of just how electric drivetrains, not only airplanes, but also cars and whatnot work. And also especially how you work in a team. So that's a huge part of it. If you're 12 students and you have to organize everything, make sure you don't do something that after someone else planned on something else, that was a huge learning curve, especially starting from no aviation knowledge, getting to a level where you're sure it won't blow up. That, that was definitely yeah, um, something I had to learn, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we were like the first at, at the maiden flight, we were a bit like, okay, we have no clue. The wings were never under load, so yeah. It's important to us that the, that the airplane stays in the air. We have got a follow-up project that develops a hydrogen powertrain. So the electric powertrain in this airplane will stay and now to develop a hydrogen power train you need to have a fuel cell in addition to almost everything that we have in this one so this was more like the easy version and now to make it even harder we're putting hydrogen into the mix and that will be but in a totally new plane so we'll leave this one as is so we are not yet finished with our testing phase so we still have a couple of hours um, to find out all of the characteristics of it and after it's hopefully we can use it with trained pilots we can just use it as a leisure aircraft but of course um, we still if we need to know something for the new airplane we can hopefully test it on this one or at least get experience with it so it will still stay a test bed but also just for leisure flights yeah